Hey, it's End Time Watchman. How y'all getting along tonight? Uh, I'm going to speak on a subject tonight on civil disturbance operations, uh, but before I do, I want to say this again. I want to thank all my subscribers and friends and uh, those out there in YouTube land that uh, listen and watch these videos and Martins and CV1122 and Let's Go Scuba Man and Let's Goes On and On. You know, I figured out something. I really have. I have figured something out. You know, we're bigger than they are, we're greater than they are, they wouldn't attack us like they do. It's just that simple. Having said that, uh, I make a public announcement tonight that I will, I've got a, uh, site that I'm, uh, building and working on that will deal with critical intelligence that is, uh, of dire need for those patriots that are already ready and I'm going to keep this side up instead of taking it down like I was going to. And I'm going to put out uh, information that will be for those that are just waking up and those that have been awake a month or two. Now, I'll choose who will be on the private side and who won't. And I don't want anybody to get upset about it or whatever. But uh, I also, I want to say that I don't get to respond to every personal message or email or whatever because I got to tell you, and I'm not bragging, but my gosh, I'm telling you, I'm getting it flooded. So I try to respond when I can to what I can. You know, we had some snow today, and I've been plowing some old folks' driveways and trying to get them where they can get in and out like they need to for no charge and uh, not toot my own horn. But, you know, there's certain things that's, that's you know, when you put somebody in front of you and you're not the biggest thing that matters, you get a feeling inside of you that, that I, it's unexplainable. And that's one of the reasons I make these videos. Because you're more important than I am. I'm trying to put you ahead of me to make the videos and put the information out there that's pertinent to where we're going and what's going on. But having said that, uh... I would like to make this one comment real quick. Uh, don't want the horse to get dry. I've had comments come up and this, that, and other, and I've personal messages. Why do you hide your eyes? Why is it dark in front of your eyes? I mean, give me a friggin' break, dude. I made 270 videos. And uh, two-thirds of them, I'm sorry about the shadow. i tell you what you do. If you pissed off about the shadow on my eyes right now in, in the computer room, rather than being out in the garage or in my master bedroom where it sounds the best or whatever, build me a friggin' studio, tell me where to go to, and I'll make the videos in your studio. Other than that, get over it, grow up, and quit whining. Okay? And you know who I'm talking to. But anyway, let's move on to the subject matter at hand. Uh, there's something called FM 3-19.515, 3-19.15, and I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but uh, there are certain parts of it floating around the internet, and uh, I've studied it since 2001. Matter of fact, it come out in the, uh, actually it started in the 80s under Reagan, and it's been sort of increasing in uh, sort of a snowball effect, increasing in size, kind of like a snowball does when it goes down the hill, but having said that, uh, I want to show you something real quick. Okay, here we go. You see how thick that is? Are you looking? It ain't a game. Okay? Now, here's this. You see what that says? Civil Disturbance Operations. This is their manual. Okay, there is a copy that you can get that's called uh, Approved for Public Release. Civil Disturbance Operations. It ain't a game, dude. This is not a game. We're not conspiracy theorists. We know what's going on. Those of us that research, Martin and myself and others, we know what's going on. Now, you say it don't exist. All you have to do, i tell you what you do. Google Civil Disturbance Operations. Scroll down. Look for it now. You better be ready for your ink cartridge to get ready to run dry, and you better have 250 pieces of paper for your printer to be fed through in order to download this document. I've had it downloaded for a while. I've been going over it and musing over it and studying it, and i got to tell you, the latest edition I'm able to find this release for print for circulation for public is 05. 
I know they changed strategies from 05 to 08, but the best I've got to go by is 05. Now, having said that, End Time Watchmen told y'all a while back that you don't have to know your friends well at all because you know who a friend is. I mean, I understand you be careful because you don't want it to be a mole or a troll. What I call a mole is someone that's placed in your society or, or your realm or where you live in your neighborhood or is in contact with you through you, your job. That's a big joke. We don't have any jobs anymore. But in other words, they somehow or another got in contact with you and they know you on a daily or weekly basis face-to-face. -face. That's what I call a mole. And they are deciphering and downloading information about you and of you and they put that in a database back in the Operation Command Center, and you don't even know it. Now, End Time Watchman told y'all a while back, know your enemy better than you know your friend, because a friend is stick closer than a brother. Why do you keep saying that, End Time? The Word of God says it. A true friend, and you'll know them, because when you ever meet that person the first time, you'll know Beyond a shadow of a doubt. A friend is not somebody you acquire over a lifetime. A friend is somebody that clicks with you, has the same mindset as you, or is on the same page as you, may not agree 100% with everything you do, but they are willing to, to, to fight and die for you from the first or second or third time you met them. Now, having said that, you'll have to decipher or figure out whether I'm your friend or not. Because I'm trying to be a friend to every American. Now, there are some that ain't awake, and you spout your garbage and all. You're an acquaintance. You're not a friend. Those that are awake and are the same uh, mindset, we don't agree on everything, we're friends. I'm willing to die for you. I'm willing to take up arms and die for you, just like I am for my family, you see. But having said that, in the next video, because this is basically an introduction to civil disturbance operation and, and control force operations, and this is not, by no means classified. It's uh, If you know how to do your homework, you can find it, and you'll know what they're doing and what they're up to. But but having said that, uh, I got I got I got to tell you, in, critical information, truth is is key. It is key. To being able to defeat what's coming toward us. And knowing and having the knowledge of that information is the most important thing. The the weapons are fine. The, the extended magazines are fine. The food's fine. But if you do not have the information, you don't have the understanding of what is behind the scenes going on. And when I say behind the scenes, I don't mean it's uh, uh, top classified. Inf I mean it's stuff they're doing. But most people, because they're stupid enough to listen to whatever the media tells them, they think that whatever the media says is truth when it ain't. What, that's what I'm getting at tonight. Again. And I don't know why I'm beating a dead horse. I guess I just, you know, I know the horse won't kick me, so I'm going to keep beating on it until somebody figures out what's going on. But having said that, uh, we're going to go to the next part, and we're going to get into control force operations, civil disturbance operations, things of this nature that, uh, <coughs> that I know that they are uh, already been training on. And the things that they are implementing in the uh, the psychological warfare and tactics like that. And by the way, the psychological warfare has been we've been catching hell on it for uh, going on three to four weeks now. Major me and Martin and a few others. And all it is is psyop. It's, it's psychological warfare to you know uh, spoof and clone and uh, discredit our name and what we're doing and what it is. I mean, it's a it's really a uh, uh, a little uh, chicken coward way to try to discredit and get us to quit what we're doing. But like I said, I've I've got plans. Uh, I got things going on, and I'm going to keep this side up for mostly for uh, uh, pronouncing and putting out and putting together in the puzzle how the Word of God relates to what's going on in daily events. I'll have a private channel that will be. Uh, more uh, on intelligence and information and, and, and information gathering and tactics and, and survival stuff that uh, that I have found out and that I know will work, and the list goes on and on. But having said that, uh, it's not about that right now, but be looking for it because it's coming. By the, by the about another five days, we'll have it up. But uh, at the same time, Watchmen, stay tuned for part two, and I'll be back.